Hey, greetings everyone. Glenn Kellaway from the basement. How is everyone doing this morning? Um, timely topic this morning. I am going to reveal my top 10 Daryl Hall and John Oates songs. Hall and Oates. A lot going on these days in the news, man. It's, it's too bad that when this stuff happens, but um, I guess John Oates is trying to sell some portion of their partnership or his his half of it to some investment firm and Daryl is not too pleased. Um, Daryl seems to be taking a lot of flack over this. I know he has a reputation of having an ego but um, at first I was thinking well you know if John Oates owns uh, something well who's to say you can't sell it who are you to stop it but the more that's coming out the more i'm starting to side with uh, daryl hall uh, because i'm thinking um it's uh what's being sold is daryl's likeness daryl's hard work and portion of those songs you know, like, I mean, part of his soul and his, uh, you know, his legacy is there. And I, I get it. He should have some say in what's going on with that. Um, if it was just John Oates selling his own likeness and songs he wrote by himself in the band, hey, but it's not that. So I'm siding with Daryl Hall on this. It'll be interesting to see what comes out of it, but uh, we'll see. Anyway, Hall and Oates, Daryl Hall and John Oates from Philly. They formed in 1970, put out their first album in 72, I think, called Whole Oates. Um, kind of a mix of soul, R&B, and rock. Uh, always have a great band with them. Um, 18 LPs, including one Christmas album, if that counts. Uh, 29 top 40 singles, 6 went to number 1, 16 of them were in the top 10, most successful duo of all time ahead of the Everly Brothers, the Carpenters, the Simon and Garfunkel, who other duo, any duo you can mention, Hall & Oates is more successful. Um, I don't know what else to say. I, uh, I am a fan, have been a fan since 1973. I remember hearing She's Gone, which came off of their second album, Abandoned Luncheonette, which I think is their best album. Um, I just think it's a brilliant song, and I, the, the vocal performance in it is absolutely great. It's, it's my favorite Hall & Oates song, because I'm giving that away early when I do my countdown. But um, fantastic album. Uh, I don't have a lot of their studio albums. I think I got three. Uh, Daryl Hall, John Oates... Uh, Band and Luncheonette, H2O, which has uh, Man Eater on it and One on One, a uh, really strong album as well. Um, this album with this horrible cover, Daryl Hall and John Oates. Uh, this one has Sarah Smile on it. Um, the rest of them are comps. I've got, this is a great comp. So Daryl Hall, Greatest Hits, Daryl Hall, John Oates, Greatest Hits, Rock and Soul, Part 1. If you're looking for a Greatest Hits Daryl Hall album and Oates, that's uh, fantastic. And it sounds really good, too. Um, I also have this live one where they invited some members of The Temptations to play with them at the Apollo. Pretty cool album. Uh, it's got uh, their own hits on there, as well as uh, some songs, Temptation songs. And um, there was one song I wanted to mention here, was Every Time You Go Away. Daryl Hall wrote that song. I don't know if you guys remember that song. It was a big hit for Paul Young, and that's written by Daryl Hall. It's a great song, Every Time You Go Away. Um, this is my favorite go-to Hall & Oates album. It's on vinyl, too. I'd love to get the vinyl at some point. It's a live album. Daryl Hall and John Oates, uh, John Oates live at the Troubadour. This is just a great live album. Great band. Some of the songs are extended, man, especially uh, 
uh, I can't go for that. I think it's like about eight minutes long with a great sax solo and that. It's it's a really great vocal, great vocal performance, great band. Highly suggest this. This is my absolute favorite Hall & Oates release. Okay. Top 10 songs from Hall & Oates. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, number 10 is One on One, which is my f wife's favorite Hall & Oates song. Uh, kind of a ballad -y kind of a, a thing, but very soulful. Um, number 9 is Say It Isn't So. These songs are, are so catchy. Uh, I, I, and like I said, the vocal performances are great. I'm going to do my uh, top 10 male vocalist list at some point, and Daryl Hall's on there. Um, number 10, say, or 9, Say It Isn't So. Number 8 is Out of Touch. You're out of touch, I'm out of time. Going out of my head when you're not around. Number seven is a song called Abandoned Luncheonette, which is the title track from their second album. It's also on that live album I showed you, a great version of it. Um, kind of reminds me, it's kind of like a, a story thing. It's like um, Billy Joel's uh, Italian scenes from Italian restaurants. It's kind of one of those songs. That's what it reminds me of. Number six, great performance from Daryl Hall on this. Sarah Smile, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful vocal on that. Number five, Had I Known You Better, beautiful, beautiful ballad. It's on Abandoned Luncheonette as well. Gorgeous song, beautiful lyrics. Number four, I Can't Go For That, just a great funky kind of a beat there. Number three, I think I only picked nine songs. Number three, I'm going to go with a song called Cab Driver. Not sure what it, it album it's off of, but it's on uh, the live at the Troubadour album. Absolutely great song. Uh, again, another story song about when Daryl Hall lived in, uh, in England. Um, number two... And number one are so close together. Number two's Man Eater. What a great track that is. Man, I still remember the first time hearing that uh, over at this guy's place. And, and he put that on, and I went, what the heck is that? And he goes, that's Hall & Oates. I'm going, whoa, great song. It's, it's kind of got a reggae beat to it. It's a very cool song. And number one, as I said, is She's Gone, one of my favorite vocal performances of all time on that song. Both of them just sing so good on that one. It's amazing. So um, that is my Hall & Oates Top 10. Uh, I hope they get this thing resolved. They're too good and too well respected to end a, a great career like this. And uh, let me know your thoughts. Uh, if you're a fan, uh, I'd like to hear from you. Take care. Thanks.